Yo, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Jay back here with another vid. Um, what seeds did you plant today? Like, what, what seeds did you plant to, you know, lead to the better version of yourself? Um, that's what I want to talk about in today's video, man. Uh, life is all about the seed, right? Like, life is all about the seed. Like, I know, you know, growing up, you may have heard, if you're like Christian and the Bible, about like the sower sows the seeds and this biblical principle. But I think that biblical principle applies in so many different aspects of life that really lead to the true fulfillment, you know? It's a, um, in the Bible that, you know, when the sower sowed the seed, some landed on good soil, some landed on um, bad soil, some landed in the uh, weeds, some landed, uh, some of the, the crows or the birds got it. So, in my opinion, when I think about the seed, right, not only, <clears throat> I don't know how y'all look at it in your current journey, your spiritual journey, but I've gone through multiple different phases of what I believe that to be. You know, originally, of course, you're going to think at surface level of the story itself. Oh, seeds, like, okay, you get fruit, you get crop. But once you start diving in, you realize, like, the field or the crops um, is your mind. And that's where you get the ideas. Now, for me, that led me to believe that ideas are seeds because, you know, you have to plant the idea, you have to water you have to work towards, you have to till the garden. But then I came across semen retention and that completely changed my life. Um, and I could just see how powerful of a thing it is to where when you're holding on that life force, life force energy and you apply that creative power to other aspects of your life, you know, you really get out some good things. Um, I was watching some of my older vids, uh, Captain Sinbad today and just the difference of like what a streak could do. Um, so that's a really interesting concept. So I was there. This is something I've already considered, um, but it's also the, the labor that you do every day. And I think that's the one that most people miss, right? Like we know about planting the ideas. We know about uh, thinking on the affirmations, visualizations. We know about that. We know about uh, retention and holding your seed and that will give you the power to do what? to put towards, to action towards the things you want in life and plant those little seeds every day. Like right now, me shooting this video is a little seed towards the bigger vision I have for myself, which came from the idea. And I have the drive to do it because I'm transmuting my sexual energy into that. So that's why I say the seed is like what life is all about, right? Because it's like without the seed, there will be no manifest there will be nothing that happens like everything has to start from a little idea a little seed that you have in your mind of what's possible so when i ask what seeds have you planted today first you have to understand you know what is the idea seed that's been planted in your brain about who you want to become was that seed planted by you or was that a bad seed that, that that's not going to grow into a fruitful tree because that's what we really want is a fruitful tree and by fruitful tree i mean Whatever that means to you, actually, I'm not going to present my ideas um, on how I feel you should live your life. But I think a fruitful tree, we all know deep down in our heart what that looks like for each one of us. So once you had that idea and you apply the retention to give you the, the power to do it, right? Like the masculine energy did not give a fuck, the attacking the goals, the relentlessness, the straight at it um, mentality which is crucial, and also just the physical energy to make it possible. And then you combine that with the mentality of one day at a time, focusing on the day. What can I do next? What can I do in these next 10 minutes? Can I clean up my apartment? How's this looking? How's my life looking? Okay, have I checked in with my key people? Um, have I updated my, my tracking sheets for my job? Um, the little things, the little things will add up um, and really, what it's adding up to is it's, 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 it's the necessary ingredients to make a fruitful tree, the tree that you have in your mind. Without those fruitful ingredients, it's going to be, you know, a lot more labor intensive to make the tree. But I think that's why I say it's the key to life, because I think it's something that God, going back to full circle about the Bible, I think it's something that God 
put on this earth to give people the, the unlock. Like, I think that's such a huge unlock when if you could do those three things, um, that your your dreams, your goals, your visions, they almost become effortless. Like, I've done this before. I feel the synchronicities. I feel the flow state with the universe right now that we're about to do it again. Um, coming from, you know, a more rockier period in my life, I would say. Um, from an outside perspective. But, you know, we need those to gain the lessons and wisdom um, from an internal perspective. Um, but, yeah, I think it's... Uh, Really one of those things that, if applied correctly, um, can make achieving your greatest dreams and everything you've ever believed possible um, almost effortless and almost like it's supposed to happen because it is. Um, because that's the way that God set it up. That's why he gave it to us, to use it. Um, but we all have a choice. We all have choices that we make every day. And the choice initially starts with a thought. And what you do with that thought um, usually results in um, an energy exchange moving into like the, the sexual energy aspect because what thoughts do is I know you probably heard the saying which you, uh, where focus goes energy flows so when you're thinking about something you're focusing on it and if you're focusing on it then energy is there and if you have energy in your body which is how you get energy um, and you're putting on the wrong things, the wrong focus points, the wrong ideas, uh, bad ideas, negative ideas about yourself, negative ideas about the world, negative ideas about your partner, negative ideas about God. You know, we all go there. But I think once you, uh, you know, shift those seeds of negativity into she's seeds of positivity, there can be a lot of major shifts that happen in your life. Subsequently, once you have different thoughts, you'll use your energy differently. Once you use that energy differently, you'll be able to put more into day-to-day -day tasks. And I'm going to leave on this note because I know we're getting lengthy here. But I just got done with a meditation, you know, 40-minute meditation. And, like, I was really just in tune and present, got to that point, that flow state. Um, and the Most High, you know, um, was just really telling me, like, you know, it's about the most high and also my teacher, uh, my Sifu, who I do yoga with, Chinook, uh, you know, to really just can you breathe deeper and longer? Like when you uncomfortable and you in a pose and I was kind of doing this pose in my meditation, it was uncomfortable, but it's just breathing through it. And that's symbolic of the day to day work, which was the last point, And that's why I brought it up is because it's not about what's next it's about how can i do the day-to-day -day work better can i do this pose in yoga we would say can i can i breathe a little longer in this pose can you just do a little bit better in your work because that's a good yogi is the one that breathes the best and you could take that principle and apply that to when you're doing the work because when you're deep breathing you have your focus on the right point your focus on the goal you put energy into it um I hope all this is clicking. I hope all this cl is clicking. I'm not perfect. I'm not implementing all of this. This is just a realization I've came through, came to on the path, and I hope it can serve somebody out there that's watching, inspire them, impact them, um, cause you to take some action towards the right things. You know, and it starts by just changing your thoughts. That's that's what it's all about. Because nothing, it starts by changing your thoughts, but it ends by taking action. Because nothing will change without action. Here's my action. Here's my. Seed of labor for the day. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Catch y'all on the next one.